Do 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 do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Top of the morning, afternoon, night, depending on where you at. It's the Pope, your host that do the most. We finna get into a real, real situation. Cause old Becky Hammond, old Becky Penguin Hammond from Gotham City, you were looking at. <laughs> they did a press conference, man, right? Becky Hammond and Asia Wilson. They did a press conference after the game last night and was asked uh, some questions about where the league has been and where it's going right now and how is it growing and all these things. And we're going to go ahead and take a listen to that clip and I'll chime back in and give you my thoughts. Let's go. Let's just necessarily say something to anybody else, but just to ourselves, how good we can be and who we can be um, when, when we're locked in defensively. Thank you. Willie? <laughs> hey ladies, uh, for, I'd like to get both y'all's take on this. I just got off the Zoom with Natasha Cloud, and she sort of went off the same way you two went off last week on, on the hate that everyone's trying to get the league to kind of skew toward Caitlin, but toward the parity that's going on, the, the, the competitiveness that we're seeing among the teams, top to bottom, the competitive play. And, and trying to change this narrative, and, and Tosh just kind of went off. And I'm, I'm I'm curious your thoughts on just how great the the, the league is from top to bottom. It's, it's more than the aces in the Liberty, and uh, and just you know the, the parity right now. Well, I think there's a lot of good players in this league, and and here's if you haven't been, if you're just a recent follower of women's basketball, um, this has been brewing for a while women's basketball, it's been like at this boiling point, building, building, building. And, you know, our arena was sold out long before Caitlin was coming into the league. So I think women's basketball has uh, just been on building. Now, she's a part of the tipping point, right? She's coming in at this time where it was ready to tip over, and she her presence has tipped some things over. But there's been a lot of good work going on behind the scenes to get us to this point by a lot of other people. And I think, you know, I think Caitlin is very gracious in mentioning those names, too, and understanding uh, the women that came before her to pave the way for this tipping point and this this kind of great time to be a women's basketball player. But it's a great time because the product is great. And it's been great, and it's been building, and now that we have more eyes on it, freaking great. I think it's great for everybody. Um, it's really hard to make a team anymore. And there's a lot of really great players. And... You know, I don't think it's just one super team. There's a there's multiple teams with multiple all stars um, across the league. Mm -hmm. And that's the head coach, the defending champs. But boy, boy, I tell you, okay. So <laughs> let's get into it. She starts out. Look at the unprofessionalism. Look at the unprofessionalism by the head coach of the Las Vegas Aces. Sitting there talking and laughing, reporter trying to ask you a question. See, and, and, and then you hear her answer. Our our league has been brewing for a long time. There's multiple teams with multiple all stars on the team. All stars in a talentless league, lady. Aaliyah Boston was an all star last year. We all know how she been playing, so that ain't saying much. You got 12 teams since 1996. You're talking about growing. Where at? What, because of the last couple years? Let me learn y'all something. The league, just because you have social media now, and some of y'all girls... Before Katie Clark, y'all was doing podcasts and y'all doing everything you could do to try to put yourselves out there. But it still wasn't working. And it worked, I mean, a little better than what I guess it was before social media era was really booming. Right now, it's at its all-time high. Especially since the last four years. If you want to talk about the WNBA's growth in the last four years. Well, just think about how big social media has become. So, mostly anything that's in the spotlight for so long, or at least talked about enough, 
It should grow, especially if it's been there since the 90s. And you're like, hey, guys, we're over here. We're still here. We're still here, guys. Come check us out. And you have some people say, oh, the WNBA still exists. Oh, let me know. Oh. Because before social media area and before it's booming, you probably thought it was no longer existing. Right? You done lost touch with the WNBA after Lisa Leslie and Cheryl Swoops and uh, uh, all of them. All of them bounced out. Only ones who were trying to hold it together uh, was Maya Moore, Candace Parker, and uh, Tamika Ketchins was over there doing their stuff. But really wasn't nobody paying attention because at that time, social media wasn't around to put a spotlight on them. And they stardom, they individual stardom, it wasn't as polarizing enough for us to go and tap in all the time. And especially, it really wasn't them it was their competition, their overall competition, mm, subpar. So it's like seeing your favorite players go to a league that really is talentless and they destroying doing their thing. It's not really much to be excited about, right? It's like if I go to a, a tournament, an AAU tournament that's popping, right? It got a big name, but I plan – in the bronze division, and I win a championship, or we went, I can't be, you know, acting like we the top dogs, or we we up there. No, 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 no. And that's how it is. It's like, Candace Parker, to me, Candace, they got gang gang. And, and, and some others that I'm missing out, but it's not too many of them. It's more talentless players than players with talent. So that's been your reason you ain't went nowhere, okay? And you, it, you haven't been growing to the degree of a real change. A real change. Now, what Kaylin Clark just brought to the table is a real change. It ain't no more talking about nothing. The actions is speaking louder than anything she could even say. She don't got to say a word. The numbers are there from attendance to ticket revenue sales to TV uh, viewership, all of that. WNBA merchandise, they didn't already sold more WNBA merchandise this beginning of this season than they did all last year. So, y'all was becoming, when you talking about brewing, it was brewing, what, what to relevancy? To where some people started to talk about it a little bit, maybe. Because it has been irrelevant. How many people cared or even knew Asia Wilson and the Las Vegas Aces until now? And they the two-time defending champs. How many knew Becky Hammond from Spurs, assistant coach from the Spurs, Popovich the first woman in the NBA, <laughs> I think she got more talked about as the assistant coach in the NBA for Greg Popovich than she has as a two-time defending champion in the WNBA. And you was brewing? And what Kaylin did just tipped it over. No, Kaylin brewed it all the way up and then it exploded over. And this is just the beginning. But you ladies seem to want to keep mucking it up. And instead of attaching yourself to saying, yes, it is a change. It's here today. Now y'all get to see what we got. And the ladies, we got to bring, we got to bring our best. And we got to give a show. It's our job now, now that the eyes are here, that we've all been waiting for and wanting. Now it's up to us. To continue to keep, you know, handle our candle. Keep it lit. Keep it litty. That's what the young, they, they keep it litty. Handle your candle. But nope. Y'all keep blowing it out. Every time. Y'all keep blowing it out. 
Candle got the got the crib smelling beautiful. Got the crib smelling good. The way way CC handling her candle, it's smelling lovely. And y'all get jealous how good the house is smelling because of CC, and you want to blow it, blow it out. Enough of that. We've already been we've already been smelling good. No, you haven't. You've been stinking up the joint. Dumpster juice. Trash. Tell me no. Uh, uh, Kaylin Clark. Uh, stop. Leave Kaylin Clark out your mouth. How about you do that? I don't even care if they ask you about Kaylin Clark. You just say she is great and we love what she brings to the table and move on. Because you want to seem to, oh, well, <laughs> we, you know, Kaylin Clark ain't the only one selling out. We've sold out arenas before. Before Kaylin Clark came, we sold out arena. You sold out arenas? Are you, what? Because it ain't the same as what she did, so I don't even know why you're trying to compare the two. Have you had people in the stands before to watch your game over 10,000? Yeah. Have you ever had 18,000? Nope. Not even in your championship game. Games. So, 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 y'all need to fall back, get some smarts, go look at the charts. The whole reason everything changing around now is because of Caitlin Clarks. All right, y'all, hit the like button, leave some comments, let me know what y'all think. I had to get rid of my last video I had dropped on y'all because I used an analogy that I probably shouldn't have used and they probably shut me down. And we ain't got time for that because we got the Caitlin Clark Watts party popping tonight. So make sure y'all there. We're going to be live for the Caitlin Clark uh, watch party. And that's we're going to start that at uh, 4, 4 Central. That's 2 o'clock uh, Pacific and 5 o'clock Eastern. Make sure you tuned in. It's the Pope, baby. Peace and love. I'm out.